dear. Oh dear. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day, and a very sad one at that. Because if you look in this field at the back of my house, you will notice a certain something is missing. And all I can say is, rest in peace. Because unless the sheep have escaped through a fence, I think they've made the way to the supermarket. But on a lighter note, ladies and gentlemen, what a beautiful day it is in England right now. It is not raining, it is not great, it is not miserable, and it is a new dawn and a new day, and we're getting started in it. So welcome your faces to a day in the life of Tom. I wish I could explain why I left some jeans on the wall, but I can't. However, they are coming with me. I know, oh boy, today, I think we're going on a bit of an adventure -y. But first and foremost, what the bloody hell's going up the top of my road? Looks like someone's getting a tree top down, it does. Don't mind me, just being a nosy neighbour. And would you look at that? I got a parcel at my door. I kind of feel like an American in the movies where they go out and like pick up the newspaper that a kid threw at the house. But I shall enter the domain by saying good morning, dear. I said good morning, dear. <laughs> I went and collected a parcel. I don't know. Could be a battery. Could be a bomb. Introducing the hot tamale of the century. Oh, yeah. Tiptoeing in my... Uh, Nikes? Are they, what, uh, are these Jordan? No. <laughs> I was gonna say these are Jordans. They are definitely Nike Dunks, but oh my gosh, look at that lady. Look at me. Oh, we, are we all dressed up with chains? We ready? Because where are we going? Manchester. Why are we going? Hello, for a meet. You said it was a date day. We're going on a date! And we are going to be late for this very important date if we don't set off. But, oh my gosh, it is absolutely gorgeous. And Lydia said she wanted to go strolling around Manchester. More particularly, she wanted to go strolling around Manchester today because, uh, what is it, 11 days? 11, 11 days? That's my lucky number, 11. Oh, I like 11. 11 days before the baby's here. And she said this will be one of the last times we're probably going to be able to just mooch around Manchester. Well, just just the, the two of us. Yeah. So I thought, you know what? That sounds absolutely lovely. So next stop, Manchester City Centre. And we find ourselves strolling the streets where we're going to try and go for some grub at a place called Tokyo Ramen, which, uh, uh, I think, is it closed? It's open. <gasps> As to whether or not they're serving, I'm not quite sure. Um, Anybody home? Uh, Table for two, yeah! We're in, we're getting ramen! Mate, thank you so much. We thought you were closed, but oh, I'm so glad we've not missed it. One of the best ramen spots in Manchester. Fact. Oh my gosh. Hey, happy? <laughs> Minus haveth arrived. Ooh, I usually go for something like that, but I'm trying the new one on the menu. Are you ready for a taste test review? Wow. That might be my new favourite one on the menu. Not even kidding. Oh my gosh, that is... That's 10 out of 10. That is so good. Try that. Yo! And oh my gosh, the chicken. Very good. Consider me defeated. Hell yeah, that is what I'm talking about. Just got speaking to the owner and he was like, if you fancy it, we can talk with you about putting an item on a secret menu in there with you. And I was like, yes! So, I'll keep you posted. And we've walked an entire... 10 stops across the road to get to a place called Affleck's Palace. Which, what would you describe this is? as? Weird and wonderful. I love it. In we go, and that's actually what it is. Basically just like a billion shops all thrown in to one massive building. And it just keeps going. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, oh wait, wrong one. Let me do this again. <laughs> Damn right she does. Okay, out of the first floor and going up to the second. Oh, very vibey. This is just absolutely madness. I've not been here since I was a teenager. And it's still as mad as I remember. Okay, I definitely don't remember this place. Look at this. They've got, they've got a cafe, a Japanese cafe in here. What? That's so cool. <laughs> I love it. But I love these more. <laughs> Benedict Cumberpatch. Vin Weasel. What a place. If you've got some time to spare and you're in Manchester, Affleck's Palace, just phenomenal. Now it's time to enter Manchester Arndale Market where she's on the hunt for food. How, after we've just eaten, I do not know. But this is what she's come for, a rollovers cinnamon swirl. And oh boy, can I confirm that these are good. Are you happy? Are you very happy? Let's see it. <laughs> How? Where's it going? Where is it going? 
where Lydia is now fed, we find ourselves in a bookstore. Because as to what Lydia just said, how many books can you ever have? Never have too many books. So we picked up Macavity, the mysterious cat, or mystery cat, and Food Fight. First page of Food Fight goes like so. Keep your mouldy mushroom away from our gorgeous grape. Your get grape is gross. Our mushroom is magnificent. And this is what we shall raise our child to read. Now, I'm not poking fun at Jamie Oliver, but he definitely looks like he's being held there by a gun. All right, Manchester Arndale. You have been lovely. But we now are indeed home of sweet home. And we're dropping Lydia off because she wants a nap because she's tired, isn't that right? Good prego. <laughs> so while she sleeps upstairs, I have several things that I need to do, like make sure today's vlog goes out on time. So the laptop where hopefully I won't get distracted playing RuneScape. Mm. I kid, I kid, I stuck to the task at hand and we are good to go. And I find myself heading out the house once again because I need to go and see my sister. It's Syndicate Original because yesterday when I went round to a house, I kind of got a bit distracted designing the Syndicate Original Christmas jumper, but I'm supposed to be picking the winner of the, the, the swimming pool giveaway that we're doing. I know it's a bit random. No one really wants a swimming pool when it's starting to become winter. But listen, I needed to make space in my garage and I just thought this was the best way of doing it. Someone buys themselves a t-shirt or a hoodie and they win a free pool. So great success all round. So let's go and select this winner. Now, hang on a second. She's not outside Syndicate Original. Instead, she said she's at my dad's. So, okie dokie, Jones. Is she here? Because I don't see her car. Well, she's going to be because look who's in here. <laughs> it's Arlo. Oh, Mommy. oh, who's at the door? <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, it's Mummy. <laughs> Oh, yes. you got you got balance. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> the more and more time I spend with this child, the more and more I'm excited for my own. Oh my gosh! Oh. This is where Granddad has taught Arlo a party trick. Watch this. Wait. Look at like a dog. <laughs> Just yeets himself off things. He's looking forward to being sat on the sofa at home. You. And now for level two. I know. Go! <laughs> quick, quick! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> now, I was about to leave the house again <laughs> without picking this winner. So, get to the website, adjust your dates, and work out who's our winner. Dog, what are you doing at the table? What are you doing? And the survey says spin the wheel! Right, so right. The right, so the wheel you might not have qualified. You might not have ordered what you said. But the but the wheel has landed. No, no, Alice needs to cross the T cross the T's and dot the I's, but I was running out of breath then. And as long as this person qualifies by ordering either a t-shirt or a hoodie... Don't you love her, her acting voice? <laughs> and our uh, survey says... Uh, this person has won. Yes! They ordered a logo black hoodie. Yes! And it is... Catherine Rogerson from Hartlepool. Hey! And how far away is Hartlepool? Oh, it's not bad, but I did indeed yeah, say that we're going to ship it to you guys. So congratulations, you've won yourself a brand new pool for this proper summer weather. And I'm going to be throwing in a little bit of a mystery envelope as well into it. You're going to be like, what's inside the mystery envelope? I'm not going to tell you, but you're going to find out when you get your order. So when you receive it, either Instagram and message me or tweet me a picture because I'm going to share the news with everyone to tell them what was inside. And whilst I've got Alice here, I can confirm for everyone asking, we're going to announce the winner of the Summer Rain £2,000 holiday giveaway. Next week, so there you go, because everything will be shipped out, sorted, and uh, I've had quite a few people messaging me and asking, so don't worry, we're announcing it soon. And I will indeed be taking this off you, my friend, thank you. And just like that, great success. And on my way home, I just simply have to point out that view. Oh my gosh, look at that skyline. That is quite literally Manchester where we've just been today.
beautiful and i think we can confirm that winter is almost here because it is not even seven o'clock at night and it is almost dark out look at that you can't, you can't even this phone in low lighting is shite but the trees are changing color the air is getting colder and the nights are getting longer. Spooky season. Right, we're setting this up and seeing what we're seeing. It, this, can, this cannot be happening. I've got the instructions out, right, to set this microphone up. And I'm like, right, it's wireless. So I must have to connect the transmitter via an app to my phone or something like that. And then that connects to my phone. But on this diagram, if you scroll through the instructions, it shows you plugging the transmitter into your phone. But out of all the cables it gives you, which is USB to USB-C, USB to USB-C, and USB to USB-C, as well as this headphone jack, there is not a single iPhone to USB-C adapter to connect the transmitter. So I just rang a Ryan who has the exact same microphone set up and he's like, oh yeah, you need to buy this cable for 30 quid. <laughs> so after spending £300 on this system and waiting three days to set it up, I've had this microphone gear for about six months but just never thought like, oh, I'll set it up now. So I thought today would be a good day and I've sat down to do it and I'm unable to do so. Back in the bag they go, and can I prime this? Yes, I can. I'm gonna quite literally click buy now and hopefully get it in time for, is it tomorrow? No, it's gonna deliver it by the 14th. So let's just say by next week, I will somehow have finally set up this microphone to test if it's any good. Cause right now it's just been a massive waste of time. Well, at least a new vlog's uploaded for people to enjoy. And. Don't even ask, it was somehow 15 minutes late because I was sat here prattling around with this. Dude! A little bit of a change of scenery of what you're doing. Are you making, oh no! Are you on the electrical tape? <sighs> you know what? I think I might. So let me just enter into my garage that is beautifully lit. Go into my cupboard. And I'm 99% sure this is electrical tape. But I've got a feeling this is not going to be her feng shui. Cute fairy lights. Brown tape. Sorry. Let's just try it. I've got brown and yellow. Which one do you want? Turns out neither. Because it turns out the ends have to be exactly touching like so to work. I think that's a soldiering job, babe. Solder! <laughs> and I'm sorry. I've got all the man things in the world, but that I don't. Lydia's feeling determined, so I shall leave that there. <laughs> for you and make my way out the room. Cause I've got a feeling there's gonna be some stress screams. Why have we still got this waffle maker? 10 minutes later. Oh, she's I'm smiling. Oh, oh, did you get them working? Yeah. How? I'm, I'm persistent. <laughs> I have ordered new ones. Oh, have you? I wanted to see it right You wanted now. to see it now? Oh, baby. One second, I'm clean my lens. Thing. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, you're so proud of yourself. Oh, I love it. I can't wait to be laid here. If you break it, I'll freaking kill you. You're on the lights. Get off. Every man or couple in the existence of living knows when you hear that voice. It means business. It's lovely, babe. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, no, I really like it. You did, did a cracking job. Straight out of the house. And into the car. I was supposed to be running away from you, not into you. But we've got somewhere to be. Where are we going? Cinema! Cinema! Where we've come to see <laughs> the creator. Mm. Hey, I'm the creator. <laughs> I, I beg your pardon. That's right, you will open the door for me. <laughs> I'm going to get slapped in a minute. Snacks acquired. And it is now movie time, so I'll be back. In two hours. Rumpf. Uh, I liked it. Lots of plot holes. Probably give it a 6.5. Really? That's low. Animation, incredible. But it was too many yeah. kind of moments. What would you give it? I liked it. Cry. You were crying your eyes out. I don't know whether that gives the film credit just because it was like a, a child and emotional. I, I feel like you... it was plucking at your mother heart. Yeah, but you the word just... mother was said about 98 times. I think it was playing on your heartstrings. You just, you're just a cynic. You're like, eh, that couldn't happen. I'm like, it's a film. Right, just listen, at it. one point, he's like dying of no oxygen and all of a sudden he's Superman and can just go, <gasps> look at me in mine. I was like, nope. 
I don't care if it's a film. If the, the point of it like you, is killer AI cooing or yourself, whatever it is. Cooing yourself one minute and then cleaning the basement the next. I am Superman. <laughs> I can do. I can do both. It was a struggle, but I did. But what are you giving out of ten though? I don't know. Give it a percent for me. <laughs> <laughs> So do I. Oh, I love a little time at the cinema and time to head home. Have you enjoyed our little like day of gallivanting? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, me too. But you know what I enjoy more? What? Your hot chocolates. Thank you. You really love them. <laughs> <sighs> it's half past 11 at night and I can finally start some work. She's like, what have you possibly got to do now? And it's all one step at a time. You'll find out. It requires me tiptoeing into the basement and hoping for everything that is possible. I'm slightly organised and that there is some... Um, that's not what I wanted. Is this... No, no that's not it either. Is it this? Aha! I think it might be this. It is. It's a monitor stand, not a boomerang. Because, oh my gosh, that would be deadly. But it is a monitor stand for one of these, which are just chilling on the floor. But we have a problem. Because, as you could guess from looks, uh, there's a certain part missing to connect that to that. And if you were to ask me where that is in there, I simply don't know. I honestly would like... Where could these be? And I thought, this was an empty box, so I wasn't going to look at it. So I went to move it out of the way and I was like, oh, that's heavy. So if we move this... It's like that guy that we were watching, oh. the storage guy. Yeah, oh, we, we, we shout out to this guy, a treasure hunters or something like that. I kind of want to do it. I want to buy, like, lock-up containers and see what's inside them. But every time he saw a, a, a container and then he, he moved it, he was like, ooh, that's heavy. Yeah. But then he was finding weapons and stuff inside it. It was sick. I wanted to leave a like rating if we should buy a container and see what's inside it. But it's a box full of wires. However, yes, that is the other... A boomerang. <laughs> That's what I said. This is why we're dating. But I think if I remember how I packed this... Is that what, we, is that what we're box? classing as? That's dating. Stop moving past dating. Do you as, as dating? <laughs> Are we past dating? <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, we're, we're as dedicated as a couple can get having a baby together. Oh no. It's only oh, one. No. Do you need two? I I was, I, Do you need two leggies? No, 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 no. I have the boomerang part. This is a great success. But what I don't have is the, the, the stand leg thing for it. Oh dear. Well, it was it, good that I went in the box. Is it, wrapped up? I that. is it wrapped up like that? I don't know. Oh, you're helpful. I'm finding all sorts of stuff in here. Look, my, you got cables? My clothes rail seen a better day, haven't Look at these cables, man! Look at these cables! I've even got a HD PVR remote control. You never need that in your lifetime. <laughs> uh, I've got one more place to look. In the Christmas it's section. Behind the 5,000 foot wreath. Oh my God, the glitter of it's gone everywhere. There's so many monitors ah. and screens. Look at my clothes this is, this rail. Is the Christmas section. It, it didn't hold up very well. No, it didn't. Oh, I've got something to show you. Camera woman, come with me. Riveting Tom content. More footwork. <laughs> you ready for a magic trick? Wait there. Wow, he's disappeared. Wait. Here's what I made earlier. <laughs> Yay! She's here giving me shit me like, I need a new clothes rail because my other one snapped. Please tell me that's what your mum was walking down the drive with when you said there's an old lady walking with a walking stick. It pops up with my camera's being like someone at the front of the house. I thought it was my mum walking with a walking stick. You didn't think it was your mum. I thought it was a mum person. <laughs> Go and tell my mum this, all right? But hey, look what she brought! <laughs> Celebrate Karen's Tom's. a hero. Karen! What a hero. Okay, that's all for Tom's magic trick. I now need to find my screen mounts. Thank you. Of which I have no idea where these middle stems for you know the screens go. It's really helpful. It's so bright in this cinema room. <laughs> we have to use torches in here because it's so dark. It's got like mood lighting for a cinema, but it's just not freaking practical. What did you say? We need a plug 
<laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Camera woman. <laughs> there is a method to my madness. Yes! Yes! What's the method? Oh. Put it somewhere where I'm going to find it. <laughs> oh my god! On the Christmas He's done it! He's done it! I know. It'll guess what I found near it? Call of Duty Black Ops 1! It's always going to be right near the Christmas candles. <laughs> <show. laughs> I found you! Good! Oh. This is more of a this is more of a riveting storyline than the creator that we just watched. Doubt. Don't leave me! <laughs> That's more riveting. It's even gonna speak in AI robot voice and only the vlog's gonna hear it. The answer's no. No way! When did that happen? Two days ago. I can't believe it! Then what? The sheep tried tackling the farmer <gasps> and didn't make it. No. Yes. Really? I know. Wow. It's almost believable. So you know my favourite thing? <laughs> Particles of fake snow from that. I hate it! They're just, they're just floating in front of the camera. Right, now, now come with me. Uh, come on, it's boomerang time! I have to stand up. Pregnito! <laughs> I love giving her nicknames! Someone draw- hey, where are you going? So, someone draw me a fan art of Lydia looking like Magneto, but Pregnito. No! Like, someone who's really good at- someone who's really good at caricatures. <sighs> His PC's gonna come alive! Poor Kevin, he's trying to have a sleep. He's fine. Look! Oh. What, Your piece, office can't be here either because you're gonna wake Kevin piece up. Piece number two and piece number three! Did you always have white computers? Wait, I've actually never unboxed this to show what it looks like. Whoa, these are actually quite nice. Look at that. Whoa! Found, wait, I found a chair. Jeez! Oh, sugar. Jeez! Is it just... I need to bolt it together or something. Did you not have these? If I need to bolt this together, I'm just throwing this out here right now. Oh, right. Did you not have this in your old office? I had the screen, but I didn't have them connected like this because I, I bought them and I put them onto a mount. But for these ones, I'm just going to take up the desk space. I'm not bothered. And now if all goes right, I should just take that off, that off, and then I should just be able to go like that. Should, 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 should. Seamless. Wow! Are you ready? Magic! What? Oh, no, that way. Oh. Magic! <laughs> there you go. That's impressive, actually. I have screen now. Is this there anyone? This reminds me of lockdown. Do you know what? As of, as of this, I'm going to start making gaming videos again. And do you know what I'm going to do? Whoa, don't roll your eye, but... Get back out there. You fired. Give, give me... <laughs> Go on, give get me it. <laughs> Give me, the, give me the camera. Go on, right, get Fat it. boy could lean, but this would go flying. <laughs> give, me, give me the camera. Fat and boy, the captain. Fat boy lean, that's a new film. <laughs> <laughs> fat boy slim. Fat boy, fat boy lean. I was thinking more of like, run, fat boy run. But... Oh, I'm going to get copyright strike by fat boy slim for that. Uh, no, the bro this. It was bro. <laughs> Do that face that you did roll in your eyes when I went, I'm going to start making gaming videos again. How dare you! Right, listen, what I might do is I might start playing Call of Duty Zombie videos and do a commentary of just documenting my dad diary, which is like 10 minute recaps on my gaming channel, day by day, old school commentary, like my own little mini podcast where I play through different Call of Duty Zombie maps, a bit of gameplay in the background, and I just talk to you guys. Old school style. I mean like old school style. Why do you still not look impressed? I just think your timing could be better. I'll be doing this. The, 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 I might not have time to vlog right. with a child. Okay. This will this will only take like 10 20 minutes. Oh yeah. What? Oh yeah. Oh no, I've got to do the gameplay. Oh, see now I have to play video games. I need you to flap that, that thing down. I can't get it. I've got no nails. Yeah, yeah. But like obviously from the other side. From the other side. Yeah. Just bend it down. No, because I'm not breaking my nail for you. <sighs> Don't love me. If you want a job doing, do it yourself. Okay. Yeah, we'll do. You ready? What a job doing? Do it yourself. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh yes, so good. Nailed it. There you go. Ha. Ha. And then there was two. Wow. Yeah. Tell me that's not cool. Now before you build your setup, you make sure your desk is. Clean. Now, this is what you call in the industry, overkill, but it looks cool, right? Mm. 
Lydia is at the battle station. That looks so sick. It's gonna look terrible once the cables are everywhere, but I just thought I'd show Lydia what you could do with your setups to make it look epic. It's not very efficient. Like maybe if I was, yeah, if I was streaming on this, like chat on that, that'd be pretty cool. And then all your random stuff on this side, sure. My face. Why would I want your face there? So I can shout, quick, the baby is changing. No, I'll have a little monitor here. Oh no, it accidentally turned off. <laughs> Lydia, I think the baby wants you. <laughs> Honestly, as a streamer, I would love to use this setup because it would be sick, but I am so not used to playing my games when I'm streaming on ultra wide because then you have to do like resolution scaling and all this sort of stuff. So I kind of go for like a normal quick snap to aspect ratio. However, I would love that. Like Twitch chat one, like I said, full games on this one and then like my Spotify and notifications all in there. That's cool. That is really, really cool. I, I might actually set up my PC if I've got enough cables and everything like that, just to see what an ultimate battle station would look like. So, just saying. Maybe I start by grabbing one item at a time from the pile and assembling it onto the setup. Slowly but surely, it should all come together. Wow, wow, we are. This is my battle station. Now, I've technically plugged everything in except my microphone, my consoles, and my console recording equipment. Because I don't need that right now. All I need to know is will it work? And the survey says, no. Shall we try that one again? Will it work? It's alive. But as to whether or not the monitors will turn on, it's another story. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Uh, caution, make sure you supplied input cables. Uh, I just use whatever I could find. Uh, turns out uh, this is the primary display. Let me go ahead and just log in this way. Wait, what? You have entered an incorrect pin too many times. I've been disabled. I pressed the space bar. Give me 25 more seconds. Okie dokie, Jones. <laughs> We're in. For some reason, this screen isn't connecting. I don't know if it's on the wrong... Inputs, let's try and find out. Oh, it would help if it was actually turned on. Here we go. No, display port is the cable I'm using. Probably would help if it was pushed in. Oh, yes. Look at this. This is wicked. Okay, let's do some screen rotations. And you know what? Just for ease of my life, I'm going to put you up there for a second. So how do we do this? How do I control my mouse? Right, it's on that screen. How do I drag it into this screen? Right, okay, we're on this screen. Let's open up. Oh, I don't even know how to use Windows 11. Right, make this the primary display. Okay, this is the primary display. Now this one, I need to identify it, and I need to rotate this. I've never known how to rotate this. Ah, there, display orientation. So this one, I'm gonna change this to portrait. Is it, is this portrait? It is! Keep changes. It works! It actually works. Okay, brilliant. That works. Now for this one, change this one to portrait as well. Keep changes. <laughs> yes! Look at this. Wait, what's gonna what's gonna happen if I say like open YouTube? I'm not connected to the internet because the Ethernet's not set up properly. But if I say open this, how whoa! Look how big I can do a tab! Holy smack roll! Okay, that is amazing. And in this episode of Tom Will Fix It, we're going to go into this cable box I've got in the attempt to try and find an Ethernet cable somewhere. And in true Tom Cable style, the longer you stare at it, the quicker you find it. Because what I'm going to try and do now is use the port number 69, <laughs> giggity, in the floor, connect into it in the hub of the house, insert it into the super speedy internet I've got, and hopefully we should be online. We're blinking in number nine. It's a moment of truth. Do we have internet if I click my YouTube channel? And yes, we do. Oh, that looks sick. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely amazing. My gaming channel to the right of me and my vlogging channel to the left. Absolutely epic. I am honestly just mind blown. This, this is, this is so sick. You know what, I've just realized that if I change the display to this and apply it, instead of me putting my mouse through here and it jumping up, if I click apply, it should just go through 
pretty much where I need it. I can adjust that a bit. So if I'm moving it in and it's dropping it down, does that mean I need to, do I need to raise it a bit like that? So let's click apply. Oh, that's, oh, it's doing the opposite. I need to go like down a bit like this. Right, now let's click apply. You ready? And if I move it across now, oh, almost. Bit further up, apply. Oh, look at that. That is sick. And then the same for the other desktop. Oh, look at that. That's just, that, that's min. That is so min. Look at that. All my vlogs. Wicked. And I've not had this PC plugged in or in use for quite a long time. So shock. I've got a lot of updates. But 500 up, 500 down, straight into the source. Zoom in. Wait. Wait, did the sound just start? Is, are the speakers already set up? Wait a minute. Oh, they're not, they're not even turned on. Now, I should see... Oh, Razor Leviathans. Okay. Now, if I just change the input source, or maybe just turn it up... Yes! It works! It works, it works, it works! Oh, 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 oh. Yes! Yes! This is honestly one of my coolest setups I've ever made. Hey, can we just take a second to go in the lounge? Because it was only just last week that this was my gaming setup. And we managed to go from this absolute beauty to this. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I, I love everything gaming. Like, honestly, I, I was serious when I talked to Lydia about it before. I've kind of got this, like, bit of an internal crave to just play zombies again but not play it for the sake of like oh going for such a round or anything just jumping on once a week playing a map maybe in like order or we spin a wheel to see what i play play the game just have fun and then record it and then just take some of the gameplay and just do an old school commentary over it just about like where i'm at with life and use that as like my mini podcasting that i've always wanted to do because i do think just me sat here talking for 30 minutes straight is not the most entertaining thing in the world but, you know, over gameplay, I don't know, I think it might be quite fun. And especially with this setup, I would love to do it. This is obviously not the room to do it because it's echoey as all hell. But I've got, I've got all the, the old curtains from upstairs that I could just hang from the walls. And that would really help with the soundproofing. But, yeah, I'm, I'm so giddy right now. It's actually nearly one o'clock in the morning. And I'm just sat staring at this absolute... Beauty. However, I'm now going to show you the beast. I'm not proud of this, and I don't even know what you'd do about it to organise these cables, because it's it's that bad. But if you take a step behind the scenes, there is nothing but cables everywhere, and it, it's just it's just an absolute mess. It's complete shite show, and not to mention that I've still got half the things not plugged into it. I don't even know how you try and hide these things like i've not got any like cable management to hide stuff under here apart from this little tray but that's for the desk but man when it comes to practicality i'm sorry but as someone who's had many gaming setups and needing to get access to things like to quickly get behind a usb to plug it in and plug it out you know like to restart a device something like that being able to access it is convenient as hell when it's so like perfectly neatly hidden away yes it looks sick but it's just, like, it's not realistic. It just isn't. It's for the OCD boys. Like, listen, I feel like I'm an OCD boy because, like, when I look at that, I'm like, it's disgusting. But when I'm sat here, I, I, I just don't see it. Now, this is sick. If you thought displaying my YouTube videos was cool enough, I've got yesterday's vlog on this screen. And look at how many comments I can access if I just scroll down. Look at that. Just look at that. Shout out to every single one of you guys. Like, this is going to be my new temporary setup for the longest time. And this is how I'm going to read through and reply to all your guys' comments. Look at that. You guys are beasts. It feels so nice as well being in a bigger room. I'm so used to being, like, in that tiny little office upstairs. This, this is min. Like, actually, min. And you know what I've got to do. Boom. Let's load up Minecraft. This should look sick. And for some full on immersion, I'm gonna kill the lights. <laughs> oh, this is min. And have I still got it? Oh, a Minecraft project. Here we go. Let's see what this looks like. My 4090 PC is, whoa. You can hear my PC going. <laughs> Oh my gosh, how many frames are we getting right now? Uh, it says 100, but I don't believe it, but it is loading everything up for like 
the first time in a long time. Oh my gosh, this looks gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely stunning. This is absolutely... Wait, where's all my items? Oh! <laughs> I just remembered I died in the latest episode. I really need to restart playing this series, and you know what? Being in this new setup might be the place to do it, but wow! Look at- how do I do a- how do I do creative mode? Here we go, let's set up, let's fly up. Oh my gosh! Look at this! <laughs> Look at my house! This is sick! This is so sick! Yo! If you guys want me to start making gaming videos again, leave a like rating on this video and let me know in the comments down below what I should play. Oh my gosh. This just looks amazing. Dude. Yes. And you know I had to try RuneScape on this thing. Look at it. YouTube channel to the right of me, Instagram to the left, and RuneScape front and center. I am just absolutely big cheesy right now, guys. The, the inner nerd Tom is in full swing and I'm so happy. And just to think like this space, this is just me doing as like a temporary setup so I can either start up a live stream if I want to or, you know, play some games and do some recording commentaries like I've been talking about. But just imagine if we do actually get Con to come in and fully pimp out this setup with all like the soundproofing and stuff like that. It, it, it'll just be absolutely wicked. Look, I even brought over a little desk my laptop to transfer the footage from this vlog to Orion. This is mega. I'm, I'm, ju I'm just so happy right now. And all I'm gonna say is I could have just gone to bed after I came back from the cinema, but I was like, no, you know what? I wanna get shit done and we've absolutely done it. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, do me a favor, leave a like creating, drop a comment down below, let me know what your favorite moment about the vlog was because in 11 days, Oh, 10, because it's debatable whether it's the 23rd or the 24th. My child's gonna be here, and <laughs> this all might be a thing of the past when my priority is a child screaming and <laughs> pooping everywhere. But I tell you what, this will always be Tom at heart, and I just love it. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, click that subscribe button, ding that notification bell, and then I will see you guys. Is it tomorrow? Will I see you tomorrow? Oh no, I won't see you tomorrow because I, it's the weekend. I'll see you guys on Monday for the next weekday vlog. So until then, I'm gonna love you, I'm gonna leave you, and you never know. The next time you guys could tune in on Monday, Jellyman could be here. Like I've said, I think he's gonna arrive early. So we actually could. How insane would that be if like Monday's vlog, I'm like, so <laughs> some stuff happened over the weekend, but yeah, it's just absolutely crazy how time is flying and the next chapter of my life in so many different ways uh, about to begin. I've just been, I'm so glad I've vlogged it all and just get to look back on it as well. It's, it's just incredible. Like we were out today and in town and I just bumped into so many of you guys and it just again reminds me of why I absolutely love doing what I'm doing. You're the best, I appreciate you. And until next time, much love and sadios.